All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is a initial review on the BRN 180 Gen 2. This is the 10.5 inch barrel. Um, ATF, don't come after me. I have, uh, you know, registered here with the folding stock. Um, actually, I'm more worried about YouTube coming after me, honestly. But, anywho, so uh, we'll go ahead and start at the front here. Um, this is kind of like my build. I'll just kind of go over my build and some of the specs of the um, original BRN 180 uh, specifications. But, um, yeah, so this is a uh, Surefire uh, three prong. Uh, it's not the War Comp, so. Um, yeah, it's not a compensator at all, just the uh, flash hider. Uh, the standard one comes with an A2 flash hider, which is um, relatively good. It actually wasn't that bad of a um, a flash hider. And, you know, it, it did have some similarities to the Surefire in the sense that it was a three prong in its sense. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was not too bad. But went ahead and changed that because I want to run a suppressor uh, from Surefire later on. So might as well, right? Um, Guess next would be the fact that I have a uh, I have a Surefire light. This is the uh, Scout Pro. Um, I just have the original tail cap here, as you can see right there. Um, it's actually not that bad of a setup just to reach over and initiate that whenever I want to, but I'll be getting a mod light um, pressure pad. Um, I, I'm pretty sure as of like right now, I think that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Uh, then I got the uh, BCM Kind of like the almost like the grip tape texturing thing. Uh, how to cut this down so I can fit this uh, aluminum um, barricade stop right here. But I love it because it's very low profile. All right, yeah. Going back a little bit further, um, I have a uh, Magpul weapon sling mount. That's a Picatinny that kind of slings off to a QD mount, and then that's held. My uh, sling is uh, from Ferro Concepts, um, and that's held in retention with these uh, arc bands, I believe. They're called arc cane bands. I'll, I'll put that in the description. Um, but I kind of need to work on that, but I have it folded up where you can just pull it and it will extend out, which is nice. Only thing I don't really like about it too much, um, not, not the, nothing against um, the sling or anything, but just kind of like my personal setup. It kind of scratches my gun up a lot right here, which I don't really care, but I mean, I'd rather it just not do that because this is a hard-coated anodized finish on this BRN 180. A little spec there for you. Um, but yeah, so I have that and I have two of these bands right here just kind of clipped on. They're pretty cool. Just like little, like almost like those like back clap or backpack clips kind of things. Um, but they're pretty cool. Uh, this other one back here, I just have on it because it came with two. It's like a two back for like, I think after, uh, after shipping was like 18 bucks. But yeah, this second one will be used for uh, my cable management for my uh, mod light on my light here. Um, okay, uh, moving a little bit further back, uh, I guess I'll talk about the optic. This is the Holosun Ames, the A-M-E-S. Um, I guess you can see it there on the side there. Maybe it's backwards for you, I'm not too sure. But anywho, yeah, great optic. Uh, this is the uh, this is the red version. I say great optic, and is this thing even on? Okay, yeah, it was really low because I was doing outside stuff at night. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty cool optic. Uh, shake weight, it's a holographic. Uh, they say there's no parallax shift or anything like that, but I feel like everything has like a little bit of that shifting but going on. But, anywho, um, a lot of different settings. Uh, then again, this is not a Holosun Ames uh, overview. That can be later on in another video. But that's what I got on here. Great optic. Uh, I chose it over the EOTech just based on what this rifle is. Um, no sense of putting an EOTech on a rifle that I wouldn't go do EOTech stuff with or, you know, hard, crazy rifle stuff. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, for what this is, fantastic for shooting and all that good stuff. Uh, night vision compatible, like I said. It's a little bit raised, great window, great clarity, different optics, a lot of different um, light settings. And yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, back here is a uh, Magpul rear flip-up sight. Uh, fun fact, this is a their PTS Magpul equipment, so I don't know if that means it's real or not real Magpul, but I think it is real. Um, this is from like my airsoft gun, like way back when I was like a kid. I had Magpul furniture on it. Anyways, getting a little bit off topic, but almost a little bit nostalgic to keep this on here, but I'll probably take it off considering I have the uh, Ambus Pros here. Um, I have the matching front, uh, the actual real Magpul stuff. 
have the front um, Mac will flip up sights. All right, sorry about that. You guys, just, uh, my phone just fell. Um, anywho, yeah, so this barricade stop right here, real nice. You can see clamp over here and uh, pull yourself into the rifle, which is pretty good. Um, all right, change up the angle a little bit. This is all kind of new to me. I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. Uh, maybe this is better, maybe this is worse, not too sure. Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I got the Impus Pros up here. Um, yeah, great, fantastic. Um, I recommend if you have a BRN 180 to get these because if you run iron sights, right here, uh, you have your ability to see and adjust your uh, adjustable gas system because this is a piston operated firearm. Hope we gathered that so far considering the bufferless stock right here. Um, so this is really cool because beforehand, uh, my three prong from Magpul, the plastic ones like this one, uh, they actually blocked and covered up this. Um, and you know, that wasn't the biggest deal, but I'd have to take it off to like adjust the system or whatever. Um, since I couldn't see, you know, if it's a, uh, it's like right now it says U for unsuppressed. And if you flip it over right here, try not to flag you guys, my bad. Um, it'll slip it over to suppress, which will see an S. Uh, but yeah, little, little detail, pretty cool. You can be able to see it. Um, that hole and access that port right there to be able to see the uh, different gas settings that you're on. So I think that's actually pretty neat. So definitely recommend getting this. Um, another thing on the build right here, this is kind of like a my build BRN 180 kind of first impressions kind of video. Uh, I got the uh, Geisley Maritime Bolt Catch. Now, if I could do this differently, I would. Um, I might end up just chopping some of this Geisley stuff off, but if you see this indent right here into the receiver for the bolt catch to be able to kind of nestle itself into, the maritime bolt catch is a little long and kind of hits itself on this uh, part of the receiver because it's not quite, I think you can see that, not quite lined up. So there's kind of like some wiggle a little bit. I think that could be fixed if I just kind of chop that off. But yeah, anyways, I think um, if I were doing it again, uh, I would recommend someone getting the uh, down of the fence bolt catch. I like that one a lot too. So if I can redo it, I would definitely do that again. Just you guys. Yeah, so anyways, and then you got this little button stop here to go ahead and um, kind of cushion, I guess, the uh, stock when you fold it. Um, but yeah, and then I got the uh, Radian Talons selector switches right here. Uh, fantastic. Had a little bit of an issue at first, uh, maybe a little bit of a break-in period, but these are the 45 degree throws, uh, in black. Um, this right here is a little mag release thing. It just has a little bit of a tactile feel like the Geisley, uh, like the Geisley, um, what you call it, uh, bolt catch does. But yeah, it's, a uh, it's nice. I got it out of a place in Daytona. So pretty good, a little easy thing. And then uh, this right here, if you notice the G right here on the trigger, stands for Geisley, if you guys didn't put that one together. And uh, this is the SSAE, uh, SSA, yeah, dash E. So this is the enhanced two-stage trigger. So right here, this is the best way to show it. Man, I really feel like I'm a YouTuber. Shout out Grant Thumb. Anyways, yeah, so you got some, uh, I'm not gonna give you any distances because uh, I don't know distance <laughs> and uh you pull that all the way back here and then it's a pretty light trigger pull back for a nice clean break um as well as the reset being quite nice and positive coming back on it great yeah uh pretty standard with uh other um two stage triggers but yeah pretty nice uh this is a uh also i guess i already showed you my serial number hopefully you guys didn't see that but um, yeah, it says 17 designs. Uh, it's a billet lower, which I really like. Uh, all saw one piece, all that good stuff. So I went ahead and put that on there. This is not on the original BRN 180 uh, lower receiver that they have. Um, yeah, nothing really against it. I just wanted to use a billet uh, lower, and I actually like the way that this lower looked. And it gave me a nice little fat or uh, flat kind of area to go ahead and put some laser engravings on which might be kind of cool later to customize, but um, yeah, pretty good. And then uh, Magpul MOE, just pretty standard grip right here. Uh, I keep my Hollow Sun tool in here as well. 
uh, to adjust my optic because Hall Sun has those little fancy little switches that really aren't fancy at all. You could get away with like probably a brass casing, if not a uh, flathead screwdriver. But anywho, they have that for tightening up and adjusting the sight uh, and the grip. It's like a little tool thing that comes with Hall Suns. You guys probably already know. Um, yeah, they make great stuff. Uh, this right here, I have a uh, adapter that's kind of turned into and charge into the receiver right here the lower receiver uh this adapter is a 13 or 1913 adapter for a sig minimalist plus stock um yeah fantastic stock i mean i just think you know everyone's opinionated and all that good stuff that's one of the best things about america but you know uh pretty great stock i think it looks very uh handsomely on the uh handsomely done on the brn 180 um yeah, so, and you're probably looking at this and kind of wondering what the length is of this entire complete setup. So, from tip to butt, I'm not going to quote Grantham again. That's a, I've used already one too many Grantham quotes. So, yeah, from tip to butt, it's about 30 inches, roughly. Uh, folded, it is 21.5 inches. So, 30 inches to... Uh, 21.5 so yeah pretty good um obviously it's gonna fold pretty cool um there 2d mounts a little funky to mess with um uh, but yeah pretty cool folds up real nice and tight this is the i can think i already said earlier it's a ferro concept sling ferro concept sling from slingster sorry i want to make sure i say that product out clear because you know sometimes you watch some like review videos and they kind of say like what this uh, really cool part is that you're looking for and they kind of say it real quickly and fast you don't even know what it is anyways yeah so ferro concept slingster i'm sure a lot of you guys have this one or the blue forest gear or maybe some other brand magpul you know something like that but yeah folds up real nice and tight to close into the body i mean shoot you could even like kind of loosen this up a little bit and then tighten it up to your side if you're like wearing something i mean like you know i'm not gonna get too kind of out there with it but Pretty great, you know, pretty good stuff. But, oh boy. I have a car coming, hold on. Not that that's illegal, but I'm kind of new to this whole doing videos and stuff thing, and I don't think my neighbors here are used to that either. So, anyways, yeah, pretty great setup. Uh, overall, no real issues. Uh, first impressions, I have like, you know, some hundreds of rounds through it, you know of um you know running okay clean target ammo that i got at the gun show um 43 cents around by the way after taxes pretty good deal um yeah anyways operation is pretty smooth gas and piston uh, i'm not noticing a little wear <laughs> like i'm over exaggerating this I'm noticing a little wear right here and also right here which is kind of odd um uh, let me just lock the bolt back here for you Gosh damn it. See, this is where the maritime bolt catch is kind of annoying. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to cut this so I don't look like an absolute idiot. Weird. I probably put that in wrong, like when I was building it together. That was really odd, but hopefully I'll cut that out and I'll look like an idiot. Okay, cut. Cool. All right. So, yeah, noticing a little wear right here, uh, some really sharp metal, you know, whatever, not really that big of a deal. Also noticing some wear right here, as you can see. Uh, obviously nothing, a little bit of a deal, probably from injection. This one, a little wear right there, not really too sure where that's from, but uh, we move, well, we're gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, so this is overall my setup on the BRN 180 Gen 2 10.5. Uh, I don't even think I said what this was chambered in. My bad. So this is the uh, 223 Wild chambering. Um, shout out if you know the difference between 223 Wild, 556, and 223. Um, and But you know that 223 Wild is not a bullet. Just a chambering. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, I ran, uh, I ran uh, green tips through this thing. Uh, I don't know what grain that is. I kind of forgot. Maybe it's 62. Not too sure. Anyways, yeah. Ran some uh, green tip 5.56 through it, um, no problem. Uh, 
really honestly no problem. And then obviously I ran uh, some just target ammo, uh, 223 Remington ammo. Um, off absolutely fine. So yeah, great setup. Uh, first impression's great. No malfunctions either. So huge plus, but yeah, it's kind of my setup. It's probably be a uh, part one to a multi-part kind of series that I'll be doing. Uh, kind of keeping you guys updated with the build and how my life of the BRN 180 is. And yeah, I have some other guns, some other stuff to check out too. So if you'd like, I can do, you know, gear reviews on uh, the sling, sight, light, all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, all right. Thank you guys for watching. First video out there. So show me some love.